Okay, um, if you're like me, um, you probably switched over from Linux, uh, from Windows, and you're now using some distro of Linux. And you're probably running how you can get uTorrent to run in Linux because it doesn't have a native version. Um, basically, how I am running uTorrent here is I'm using a program called Wine, which is a uh, emulation layer um, of Windows. Um, that, that's the best way to really describe it. Um, y you can download it at winehq.org. And let me just load it up here. So they got their website here. And you can just go to Get Wine Now under Download. And here you can choose your distribution. And I believe it also gives you instructions on how to install. So, uh, right here I'm using Linux Mint, so I'll just choose Ubuntu, because Linux Mint is based off of Ubuntu. So, when you're in here, it'll give you specific instructions in here. Or if you're also using Linux Mint, too, you can just go to the software portal and they have Wine in there. Uh, once you get Wine all installed, it's fairly simple. You just have a little Wine um, start menu. Uh, it's in your applications menu, you got a wine directory. And all it takes is just going in, downloading uTorrent like you would on um, you know, on Windows. It's really simple, you just double click it and it'll install for you. Um, so just a little bit of just showing you how much system resources uTorrent takes up. It's only taking up 8.9 megabytes currently on my system. Um, Transmission, um, let me check how much trans transmission takes up. So here we go, we got transmission. Transmission is actually taking up considerably less. It's about half um, the memory usage of uTorrent. But, you know, uTorrent, I don't know, I'm just used to uTorrent, so currently using uTorrent. Although transmission, I highly recommend transmission. Um, if you're just getting into torrenting, you've never torrented before. Transmission's a uh, great application for torrenting. Although, if, you, uh, if you're if you like me and you still want to use uTorrent, you can uh, download Wine and just install uTorrent. Um, it's a great way of um, browsing all your torrents. Uh, just a few things. Um, you have to manually add the torrents. You can't um, tell Firefox to automatically load torrent. For example here, I'll just go into here. Let's go t and just grab a torrent. So I'll, I'll just grab it from the Linux Mint website. And just click download. And main edition. Okay, here's the torrent. Okay, here we go. We had we have to save the torrent to say the desktop or somewhere, and then you're going to have to click right on here on this icon right here that says Add Torrent. You're gonna have to manually click on that. Then you're going to have to browse for your torrent, which mine's on my desktop. You can just double click it, and there we go. Now you can import it in, or if uh, if you don't want to take the time to click Add Torrent, you can just drag the torrent in, just like that. Um, what else? Oh, you can also set your uh, default directory for downloading. Um, I set it to my home directory and under Downloads um, in my Linux ins installation. Um, I believe it sets it to like C program files something like that um, inside of Wine so you're definitely going to want to change your uh, default download directory anyways um, uTorrent works great in Linux um, transmission is definitely a better option if you're alright with switching um, torrent applications but anyways that's uh, my video on how to use uTorrent on Linux